A famously unfunny US talk show host, Stephen Colbert. Uh, he has his own nightly program and he is now weighed in on this Kate Gate scandal. He has gone a little bit rogue crew, suggesting the Photoshop fail could be related to Prince William's alleged affair. Have a look. The kingdom has been all flutter by the seeming disappearance of Kate Middleton. Well, now, internet sleuths are guessing that Kate's absence may be related to her husband and the future King of England, William, having an affair. <gasps> oh, no. Since 2019, according to tabloids back then, when Kate supposedly confronted him about it, he laughed it off, saying there was nothing to it. Aha, always a good response when your wife accuses you of cheating. <laughs> Imagine me having an affair. It is to laugh. It reminds me of a jape. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, it's my illegitimate son. I've knocked up my mistress. <laughs> Pro, we'll uh, get the final word on this controversy, hopefully for the last time ever, from Douglas Murray shortly. But I do need your theory on what we've heard and seen this week. And uh, feel free to pass any comment on Stephen Colbert. Well, for a start, we need to check this bloke's ratings. He's obviously trying to get a headline or two. Uh, and the canned laughter was quite pathetic. Uh, look, this whole saga, I think, has been so overblown. It's a very strange series of events, and we know that. I, I tend to believe that she probably just did the amateur editing and photoshopping and made a, a serious mistake. Uh, one will never know, I, I guess, what's really behind it all. The fact that they're dragging up a supposed affair is really just trying to give this story some more air. And, uh, and I just find it really pathetically sad that they're doing it. But the palace has clearly got to do something about, you know, clearing up or, uh, I don't know, making sure that we all understand what's going on with Kate because, because it's a mystery and it's going to go on, this conjecture, until we do have an understanding of, you know, what was her health issue, when is she coming back to, uh, to royal duties and let's not scraping, scrape the bo bottom of the barrel with all these theories. You know, it's just a myths. It's pathetic. Now, before you go, Prue, uh, let's uh, check in on Greta Thunberg. Swedish police have had to uh, forcibly remove her from the entrance of the Swedish parliament after she and other protesters blocked it for a second day. There she is, being carried away. Uh, you know what? She's an adult now. She's no longer a child, Prue, and she has done enormous damage uh, this attention-seeking young woman has caused so much damage with bad policy and also just sending kids into climate anxiety with her catastrophist uh, predictions about climate change. Mm, she's a parody of herself. You know, will someone just give the girl a job if she's able to do it? <laughs> I mean, it's just pathetic and so sad. You're right. I mean, she missed a lot of school, so I don't know what she's qualified to do, <laughs> no. but let's hope she finds meaningful employment and soon. Prue McSween, thank you for your time this evening.